Leland Stanford was a rich and powerful man, and the governor of California. Stanford wanted to know if all four of a horse's feet leave the ground at the same time when it's running. Legend has it that Stanford had a bet with a friend, Leland saying all four feet do leave the ground, and his friend saying they don't. This is a fun story, but it might not be true. What is true is that Stanford paid Edward Mybridge, a famous photographer, $25,000 to get photographic evidence. Mybridge was a very well-respected photographer. He had taken many photographs of beautiful scenery in America. But it was very difficult to get a picture of a moving horse. The cameras at the time were very slow, and a running horse is very fast. So the images were always blurry. Mybridge improved his cameras, but to get the perfect shot, he came up with an amazing idea. He used 24 cameras, each 69 centimetres apart. Each camera was attached to a wire. As the horse ran by the wire, it would make the camera take a picture. The experiment took place on Leland Stanford's ranch on June 15th, 1878. The horse was a prized possession of Stanford's and was called Sally Gardner. The horse ran past the cameras, all of which were triggered. Looking at the photographs, it was clear that all four feet did leave the ground. Stanford was right. But what was really surprising was that when the 24 images were connected and played together, it looked like the horse was moving. Many people think this was the first ever recording of motion, or the world's first moving.